This is the Beats MagSafe case. Now, I love the fact that Apple is starting to do more stuff with Beats. I always thought Beats was a great brand, and I was bummed when it seemed like for a period of time, Apple hadn't been doing anything with Beats. Now, this case is very smooth and slippery. It's got minimal Beats branding on the side here. You can see we've got the MagSafe on the back. We've got the capacitive button here, and let's just test that MagSafe with the magnet. That is nice and strong, very strong magnet. Feel safe and secure with that. And obviously this is going to support MagSafe charging as well. Now let's test this capacitive button here because this is a button that's built into the case and I wanna see how well it's going to transfer that capacitive activity. Oh my goodness, I have to say that is really good. That is so smooth. It's almost like there isn't a case on it at all. That is a very good implementation of a capacitive inlay in a case. And I have to say like, what I don't like a lot of other case manufacturers are doing is they're notching that out, which means you have to kind of get your finger down in there to use that capacitive button. Now you'll notice that sometimes like it, it's not super responsive off the get-go, but I mean, once it recognizes my finger is there, I mean, look at how responsive that is to the touch. I think that's great. They obviously did a great job. Beats is Apple's company, and so obviously they're going to test this and probably had a one-up on all the competition by being able to test this on real phones instead of testing it on dummy phones, which I know is what a lot of the manufacturers get. But I have to say, like, aside from this case just being super slippery, I really like it. I wish that they had a grip version of this case, something that had some grip to it. For me, I would probably send this phone flying all the time because I'm setting my phone on my leg or on the couch or something like that. And it's just, so they slip around. But if you like that style, definitely a, a little bit shiny, a little bit reflective. Maybe you can see here as I'm reflecting the light, there it is. It's a little bit reflective, gray in color, but I have to say like this case is nice. And being that that capacitive button works so well, it has me thinking, am I okay with a little bit of a shinier case? because that capacitive button just works so good. Now we also have protection around the camera module. It raises up just a little bit higher than that to protect it from coming in contact with surfaces. And then of course, screen down protection. We have a little bit of screen down protection, not a whole lot. So I probably would wanna use a screen protector with this case from Beats. And then on the bottom of the case, you could see that they just went with a full cutout all the way around. And this is what a lot of case manufacturers are doing for that capacitive button. So they decided to do that down here, but not with the capacitive button. I don't really mind that at all. It doesn't bother me that it's cut out on the bottom of the phone. I think it fits well into the design. Overall, I really like this case.